I just want to say trans people for Palestine. Oh, uh, is this going on the air? Because I really can't say. Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? No. Kill a Kamala? Kill a Kamala. <laughs> come a come, come, come a Kamala, kill a Kamala. <laughs> and? Yeah, Turtle Island is the what we call the United States now. Oh. Yeah. Obviously not an easy choice to make because it's not what we all want, I would say. It's not the so ideal. True. Am I? Yeah. A Muslim that lives in America. You don't view yourself as an American first? No. Do you plan to vote for Kamala? It's Kamala! It's Kamala! Okay, we are in Chicago today. It's the DNC and we're heading to a pro-Palestine protest right now to ask voters, are they voting for Kamala? Now this is a huge issue because remember, Michigan and Pennsylvania have huge Muslim populations. The other swing states also have major progressive populations. So are these voters gonna go for Kamala or are they not? As we always try to do with We The 66, we try to go past media narratives, talk to people directly, hear different viewpoints. So make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't trust the media, We The 66, for the 66% of Americans who don't trust the news, let's go talk to some protesters. Smash that subscribe button. Let's go. The DNC right over there. What's your message to the people inside that building? Um, uh, I just want to say trans people for Palestine. We're here for you. Uh, we're here in support and we just uh, want freedom and justice for Palestine. I'm here today in support of Palestine. Um, I want our government to start listening to us. We do not want our money to fund the genocide. We want the bombs to stop and we want our money to be focused elsewhere, like here in our community. You plan to vote for Kamala? Um, I do not vote to plan for Kamala unless there is some sort of... Um, there needs to be a change. Yeah. There needs, there needs to, to be, be a change. change. There's all these empty promises and I think we all know that that's what they do. Election time comes around and you get all these promises yeah. and then nothing happens or things get worse. I, I got a question for you too. You said transfer Palestine. One thing yeah. you hear a lot on social media yeah. is that that's a contradiction. Transfer Palestine. Look, they, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not a contradiction. Uh, Israel does not uh, uh, discriminate if you're a gay Palestinian or a trans Palestinian uh, or a straight Palestinian. They don't discriminate. They're killing all Palestinians. Uh -huh. Does it bother you that in Palestine and other Arab countries, your transgender rights would not be respected? You know, no. that's, that's a world problem. That's a societal problem. It's not a Palestinian problem. Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? No. No. Is there anything she could do to earn your vote? Besides withdrawing everything from uh, yeah. what's going on in Gaza. I don't think so. What's your message to the DNC? They're right over there. What would you say to them? Well, of course, everybody's got pretty much the same message. Stop the damn war. But I'm saying also, please, re-legalize marijuana. What do you think of Kamala Harris? Oh, uh, is this going on the air? Because I really can't say. <laughs> You can't? I really can't say. It. I don't like her. Who would be your dream candidate? So I would say Vermin Supreme makes the most sense. Oh yeah, Vermin Supreme? Makes the most sense. DNC right over there. That's it right there. Right over there. What's your message to the people inside that building? DNC, man. Just think about the kids, man. Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? Yeah, I don't plan to vote this year. I, have, I see no, I, I don't see any hope yeah. in either candidates. Yo, you yo, hello, sorry. Hey, Bro got a call from the FBI. Right when he said he wouldn't vote for Kamala. The feds are on you, man. Excuse me? I'm doing it. Okay, all right. Liberalism is just uh, another fold of capitalism, but with rainbow colors and Black Lives Matter and all these things that are really important, don't get me wrong, identity politics are great. Are you gonna vote for Kamala? I, I cannot vote in the United States. And then what about you? I mean, if she did good things, then I would vote for her, but she does bad things mostly, so. So, so no. no. The international court wants to catch him. <laughs> so you net a Yahoo. <laughs> I, I got a question for both of you. That, there, there you have it. Um, are you all voting for Kamala Harris? No. Reluctantly. Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not like it's a swing state or Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? I do. 
we need to be careful about vocalizing that because if you just say, oh yeah, we're gonna vote for Kamala, they're going to take that for granted and they're not going to listen to you when you're protesting for things like, for, for them to stop providing aid to Israel, for example. It don't matter any how When your rooster crows at the break of dawn When you look out your window and I'll be gone You're the reason I'm traveling on Don't think twice, it's all right Here we go, that was great, thank you so much Criminal industrial war complex that one of the presidents warned us is completely out of control all across the world sending armor to sudan congo all our military armor goes all over creating murder million in afghanistan we murdered a million people what did we get we lost the war are you going to vote for kamala harris killer kamala killer kamala <laughs> <laughs> something Kamala, 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 Kamala killer kamala <laughs> i'm not going to tell you a vote for but there's a lot of uncommitted I, i'm uncommitted i she needs to move and do something the nationwide u.s free palestine in pink not for profit organization. There you go. We need to stop shipping money and weapons to Israel, which they are using in the current genocide on Palestine. And then the question we're asking everybody is do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? No, sir. No? No. Is there anything she can do to convince you to vote for her? No. The DNC's right over there, obviously. What's your message to the DNC right now? Just to get real, um, there is, even within your own party, 80% of people that need an immediate ceasefire. If you're not enacting that with tangible policy, and that means stopping the flow of weapons and money, then you're not giving proper care to Palestinian lives. If 80% of the voters support a ceasefire and they're not enacting one, why do you think that is? Corporate influence. There's a lot of people making money on the murder of Palestinians. Do you plan to vote for Kamala? I, I'm somebody that I'm not ready to express who I'm going to vote for. If Harris, which I'm not holding him hopes out, if Harris decides to get behind an arms embargo, get behind actual um, commitment to Palestinian lives through stopping the flow of weapons and stopping the flow of money, holding up to international law, unless she indicates a platform that will pursue that, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be, be interested in voting for her. Are you gonna vote for Kamala Harris? Not a chance. Not a chance. I wouldn't have voted for her four years. I wasn't voting for Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. Wow. At all. Kamala Harris, what do you think of her? Do you plan to vote for her? At the moment, I do plan to vote for her because I, I do feel like her over Trump, I am gonna have to go with her. But that does not mean I think it's okay for her to just rest on her laurels and decide that because we know that Trump is a genocidal maniac in a whole different way, that she, I think that she feels like she can coast to the wind because she knows that, but that's not true. There's always people who care who care, and if she wants to have a presidency that goes well, she needs to start listening to her constituents. Yeah, 100%. I think that it's obviously not an easy choice to make because it's not what we all want, I would say. It's not the so ideal. Um, however, I do think that beating Trump is important, and I think that like what matters is what happens after that. Right. Um, I think when they say that they're working on the clock for a ceasefire, that they're full of shit because they're not supporting, they could right now like make a call to uh, the Pentagon and like stop the bombs. Yeah. Like, What do you think of Kamala Harris? Are you going to vote for her? Absolutely not. What do your signs say? Yes. From Turtle Island, which is this land we're on right now, to oh. Palestine, land back. So give uh, sovereignty back to the indigenous people of the lands. Uh, this land? Yeah, Turtle Island is the what we call the United States now. Oh, yeah, that's I, I've genuinely never heard that. Wait, yeah. who calls it that? The indigenous people of this land. The indigenous this people? What, yeah, this is what their land is From called. Turtle Island. Yeah. Are you going to vote for Kamala Harris? No. No? What about you? I don't vote. You don't vote? So no, no love for Kamala? Donald, Donald. <laughs> Donald? You're going Donald? What's your message to the DNC? It's right over there. You motherfuckers! I have a paper bag test! This paper bag test I couldn't get in yesterday and I wore my white face because if I passed the paper bag test, these motherfuckers 
will probably let me in. I'm as light as Kamala today, and f you white people, and f the Democrats. Trash. Do you plan to vote for Kamala? It's Kamala. It's Kamala. I feel very conflicted, because I was sure in my decision to abstain to try and quote unquote teach the Democratic Party lesson, right? That my vote is not guaranteed just because I voted for the Democrats in the last election. But it's hard, you know? To be honest, I don't know. I'm really up in the air right now about it. I feel like a politician should earn your vote, actually, uh, rather than just be the default candidate. And that's something I'm really struggling with right now. Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? Uh, right now, we are taking the uncommitted position. Sir, do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? No. Why not? Because she's because she supports the genocide. What am I? Yeah. A Muslim that lives in America. You don't view yourself as an American first? No. I mean, this country's all right, but I'm, more, I'm a Muslim first. Abolish Kamala and abolish Biden? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to vote for Kamala? Why would I? Kamala? No? No, no president. No we don't president? Like no president. Nah. We don't vote. We don't vote. We don't, don't vote. vote. We don't no vote. vote. Biden. No, no. no. vote. President. Vote for me. Vote for me. President. Y'all heard it. Yo, do you plan on voting for Kamala? Uh, no. And if you look at it, a lot of Muslim voters in majority swing states are not going to vote for Kamala. And I think it's going to be very bad news for the Democrats come November because you're going to miss out a lot of Muslim votes, Arab votes, a lot of pro-Palestinian votes in key swing states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. And it's going to be a repeat of 2016. Do you plan to vote for Kamala Harris? If I will vote for her if she demands that the weapons stop. How you doing? Well, thank you. How are you? What, are you playing some music here? Obviously, yes. <laughs> it's Jesus music, you know. God so loved the whole world. We're all messed up. And uh, all these agendas and political solutions are not the answer. We all have sin. We all need the love and forgiveness of God, and that comes through Jesus Christ. So, it's going right to the, you know, the, the main issue. 